In this video, I'm going to cover perfect competition in the long run. You're a wheat farmer and you learn that there's more profit in making and growing corn. What would you do in the long run? In the long run, firms will enter the market if there's profit and firms will leave if there's a loss. So all firms break even, they make no economic profit. They're making what we call a normal profit. Or accounting profit. In the long run equilibrium, a perfectly competitive firm is extremely efficient. So here are side by side graphs for the industry or the market, and you're always just going to show supply and demand on that graph. Then for an individual firm. So this graph represents long run equilibrium. The firm is not making an economic profit, nor are they making an economic loss. They're earning what we refer to as a normal profit. And we know that because the price or the demand curve in the marginal revenue curve here is equal to the marginal cost at the lowest point on the ATC curve. So if the firm is in long run equilibrium, earning no economic profit, but they're making positive accounting profit, there's no incentive for other firms to either enter or leave the industry. In these two graphs, this industry is not in long run equilibrium. So what will happen is firms will enter because there's economic profit. The price is above the ATC curve. So the price will eventually decrease and the quantity will increase. So you can see here as more firms enter the industry, that will force the price down to the long run equilibrium. So the long run equilibrium price is $10. At the long run equilibrium price of $10, there's zero economic profit. So these graphs reflect the opposite scenario. There are economic losses that are happening. So some firms are going to decide to leave this industry. So as supply shifts to the left in the industry, that will increase the price and the price will go up and the quantity will increase. So in this case, the new long run equilibrium price of $20 represents zero economic profit. 